Yo, what up, my young king? It's your boy O here from BeastMoMag.com, and I'm back here with another video. Okay, so what I'm gonna talk about in this video is like, yo, I know how you guys feel, I know what you guys love. It's another infield breakdown. And the interesting part about this infield, I'm gonna be showing you how to approach with a wingman, okay? So a lot of my videos I approach by myself, but here's with a wingman. So you guys have a wingman? Yo, show this video to him, and you guys are gonna learn about wingman dynamics and how to get girls, okay? Yeah. You know, you know, I was debating cropping out that curve or not, but you know, it's part of the game. I'm not gonna lie, that curve right there, whew, that hit the soul, like straight up. Like, but it's part of the game. Every single get person gets curved. That's why I show that curve. So eventually you guys are gonna see that that's a curve but I'm not gonna let that stop me and I'm gonna go approach another girl with more confidence. So anytime you get curved, like yo, you gotta brush it out, man. Like when Kobe, when he misses a shot, what does he do? He keeps on shooting. When I get curved, when you get curved, you keep on approaching, okay? Just keep approaching, just keep approaching. Oh, hello. What's your name? What's yours? My mom told me stay away. Why? Say that's trouble. This ain't gonna happen to you. Stop playing. Say that again. This ain't gonna happen to you. Stop playing. Yo, I redeemed myself. Okay, but guys, what I want you guys to pay attention to these subtle details, okay? You see, I just got curved, but I kept on approaching. So you guys, when you guys get curved, keep on approaching. A lot of you guys in my comments like, yo, I get curved all the time and I lose my confidence. No, you can't lose your confidence. There's no trick or technique, you just have to do it. It's just as simple as that. It's not that simple, but it kinda is. But notice, see, I'm going the opposite direction of a girl. You know, we speed walk going the opposite direction, looking for other girls, and I seen the girl coming from this way. So what I do, I slide to the left. Slide to the right. But really though, I slid to the left and slid in front of her. So this causes her to stop in front of me, okay? And then what I said was, hey, beautiful. That's the magic opener. Hey, beautiful. But what you guys did notice is that since I slid to the left and said, hey, beautiful, this is hella polarizing. This is confident. And this chooses, makes her choose to either she gonna like me or she not gonna like me. The rejection rate for this is very high, but if she doesn't reject you, she sees that you're confident. She sees that you're dominant. So slide in front of her, step in front of her, stop her path, make your presence known. This is a part about being alpha. This is a part about being dominant. So do that. And then sometimes when you approach, I don't even know what I'm gonna say next. That's why a lot of times I'll just say, what's your name or where are you from? Because I generally don't know what to say next. I lose track of, of what I'm gonna say. See, the fact that you're actually taking an approach, that is a good thing. The fact that you're actually saying hi, that's a good thing. So you, I asked where she from. And then you guys see the personality coming out. She says she's from Texas. And the girl she says she's from Texas, I'm gonna always say, ew, you're trouble. Or my mom says stay away. Why? Because it's polarizing. So you see from the beginning, you gotta be polarizing from the beginning. Not every girl is gonna like it, but when you find girls that like polarizing guys, they're really gonna love it, okay? If you find girls who love compliments, they're really gonna love it. If you got hiring girls that love sarcasm, they're really gonna love sarcasm, okay? But what, you guys, please leave in a comment. So I'm actually trying to slow down in my videos. I naturally talk really fast. If this is not slow enough for you, leave in the comments so I can slow down even more. So I'm practicing, I'm still self-improving. You guys are still going out approaching and you guys are still self-improving, okay? Where are you from? Where are you from? Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, you said what? Wait, what are you from? You're not even listening. But you're not hurt. Wait, wait. Well, I'm confused. You're from the South. That's what I said. Where are you from? Something he got snitched on him for me. I'm not going to snitch on you. Oh, look at this. Yo, this girl thinks she is slick. She thought she was going to get my wingman to snitch on me to say what I'm actually from. No. That goes out to my wingman. He the real MVP. He ain't snitch. He held it down, okay? But yo guys, you guys actually have to have a wingman 
who's able to hold you down. Having a good wingman will help you out in game so much because a lot of guys, some of them have approach anxiety and some people can't keep conversation going. You want a wingman that compliments you, that has ideally both, but if you have a hard time approaching, get a wingman who knows how to approach. If you have a hard time keeping the conversation going, get a wingman who knows how to keep the conversation going. This levels you guys out and you ideally, you want a wingman that you can have fun with, okay? And that's not gonna snitch on you because she tried to get us to snitch on me, okay? And also, if you guys are interested in like in-person coaching, yo, here's my email just right here and you guys can check out my in-person coaching website, okay? Yo, I feel like I do this in every video, but yo, why am I like this? I feel like I ask this question in every video. I don't know what it is. I'm just naturally a wild guy. Okay, I'm not telling you guys to be wild on your own because the chance of you getting a slap is a high rate, okay? Like, I've gotten girls, like, reject me really bad. Like, get away from me, okay? So, like, and you don't want a Me Too movement, okay? Don't be doing no wild stuff like me, okay? I know when I say don't do it, you guys are actually gonna do it, but please don't do it just for me, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I actually said, like, she had a tattoo right here. So I told her I wanted to lick it. I want to put some whipped cream on there. Yo, don't, I'm trying to tell you, don't do that. But <laughs> it's funny and it's polarizing, okay? So I'm being polarizing from the whole time. I don't know why I was so confident. I, I say this at every one of my videos. I don't know why I'm like this, bro. I gotta switch up. But it's crazy because back in the day, I actually be, used to be like, really, really, really OC, OC wild. Man, every time I went to a party, trust me, I had a bottle of whipped cream with me. Don't ask me why. Just put two and two together and don't don't imagine me licking whipped cream off someone. Yeah, this is weird. Don't, don't, don't do that. Hey, where you from? Man. Oh, you better stop playing with me. Oh, uh, man, you, you better stop playing with me. Maryland. 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 Ma
it's not because that's my go-to opener is because like sometimes i just throw myself in there and i don't know what to say and I, that's just first thing i can think about okay it's not because it's magical so hey guys just do it man and just meet new people you'll find out that even if you don't think a girl's interested in the field when you get her number she gonna start texting you she gonna start giving you an instagram she gonna start asking you questions and then you might actually get that girl so always just take your chance on my channel i want to preach having fun when you go on approaching living an attractive lifestyle being on your purpose and just taking action because you take action with that girl like you might be approaching for a few months and then you get a girlfriend but when you get out that relationship it might help you out or it might help you your work because you learn how to take action from dating okay you learn how to get out of your comfort zone so when you want to ask for that promotional work you can do it because you're so used to taking action see all this stuff can help you as a man okay it's not always about dating like this is going to help you in the future like i'm making this youtube channel right now teaching dating advice i don't know if i'm going to be doing this 10 years but what it's teaching me is how to do video editing how to build a community how to get out of my comfort zone and how to record when people are around me okay how to look like a weirdo scaring the camera like this but yeah everything you do in life always know think about the long-term future wise okay just because you get rejected right now doesn't mean that's your actual results for the future everything can change in a matter of a day man you never know what you at six months from now could be different from where you at in december okay so take action yo guys check out the links in the description but i'm out wait that was so weak yo guys check out the link in the description and i'm out <laughs>